In this video, you will learn how you can create a glitch effect. What's up everybody, my name is Marcus and right now I will show you the simple way how we can create the glitch effect in uh, DaVinci. So first what we need is great audio and you will find the link in the description. It's number 16 and number 18 track so we can try it together. Now when we have the audio, we need a text. So we will add, we are in edit mode, we will add text. And we are going to name it glitch effect effect and let's make it a little bit larger and you can choose whatever you want whatever font, font you want yeah but let's try this one and we will see how it is how it will work when we have this now you need to click right on a text and you need to create a clip. So new compound clip and let's name it glitch effect. We needed to create a clip because right now we will go to coloring. So let's go to coloring. And now what we have to do is to create a free copies of this glitch effect. So right click. Add a node, add a serial. And again. So we have three of them. Now we will go on a right click on the first one and we need to note it. So write it, rename it to JPEG. When you have it, when you have the JPEG, you will go right now to open FX and we need to find a JPEG damage. Where is it here? You will just grab it and you will pass it on a JPEG. So right now, all you have to do is click a button here. By the way, let's go five steps, five frames with my, uh, I'm just pressing arrows. So six, okay, six frames. Click on a resolution, the red button here and just go to 30. Now, let's go five steps back and let's go again to zero six step up another six and again resolution to one and let's see what happens okay we got the first one so when we have the second label now take the prism blur and put it right there. Also, we need to label. Let's lay prism. Okay. Now go on a frame six again. And we will see X position and I position will go to zero. Go string like a really not that high string and distance will go high. Where's the size of the sharpness and let's see how it looks like. Okay. And 12 keyframe. We are going to do the same thing. And let's try it without it how it looks like. And we did. You see the the colors there, the I would say the effect is bigger now, but let's play around it because you need to play around it. If you go to X and I position, we can blur strength, but we don't want to make it more blurry. Maybe aberration strength, yeah, that's better. And we need size. Okay, let's see it now. Yep, this is it. This is it. Look at that. I love it. Okay. And when we have it, you will click on the third one. And we need some shake. Where is our shake? 
let's grab a camera shake. Also, let's label it. And I don't know. Yep, no label. Shake. You can shake it now. If you want. So first motion scale will go on to speed scale. Okay. Like this. Pan amplitude, uh, amplitude is from right and left. How it will jump. Tilt amplitude it's up and down. But let's play around it. Maybe. No. Okay. Okay, this is so bad. Wait a second. Six will go here. Motion scale. Here, yep, like this. Here we go. Zero motion scale. And now. Twelve will go also more let's go down. If we go again on the six, let's play around it. Zoom speed base. Okay. Yep, that's it. And this is it guys now when you go uh like i always play around it uh with the settings it's not optimal because every font is different and with every font will work different so you need to try it out and let's fail because if i'm going to say that okay pen amplitude should be on 0 0.5 and tilt amplitude on 0 0.360 it's not that great uh, because you can like it a different way and that's about it and if we go to the edit mode so we have right now we will i will just cut this out well when it ends i will delete this one and i will copy like this and this opa sorry and here you go and that's how you got it. I hope I give you some basic guidance how to actually do that. And yep, yeah, thank you very much, everyone. And goodbye. Okay.